Martin Milner tortured himself with guilt 11 years in agony over his daughter's tragic end. Martin Milner was born on December 28, 1931, in Detroit, Michigan, and was a revered American actor whose career spanned over six decades, leaving an indelible mark on both television and film. He was the son of Mildred Martin, a Paramount theater dancer, and Sam Gordon Milner, a film distributor. From an early age, Martin was exposed to the entertainment industry, and it wasn't long before he caught the acting bug. After moving to Los Angeles with his family when he was a teenager, he attended North Hollywood High School and later enrolled in the University of Southern California, where he studied theater arts. This foundational training set the stage for a career that would see Milner become one of the most recognizable faces on American television. Milner's early foray into acting began in the 1940s when he landed his first role in the 1947 film Life with Father, starring alongside the likes of William Powell and Irene Dunn. This early experience in Hollywood paved the way for a series of supporting roles in other notable films, including The Sands of Iwo Jima, 1949, where he played a young Marine, and Sweet Smell of Success, 1957, a critically acclaimed film where he acted alongside Tony Curtis and Burt Lancaster. These roles showcased Milner's versatility and ability to embody a wide range of characters, whether in light-hearted comedies or intense dramas. However, it was television where Martin Milner would truly make his mark. In 1960, he took on the role of Todd Stiles in the groundbreaking series Route 66. The show, which followed the adventures of two young men driving across the United States in a Corvette, was more than just a road trip series. It delved into the social issues of the day, from racism to poverty. Milner's portrayal of Todd Stiles, a clean-cut, idealistic young man, resonated with audiences and made him a household name. The series, which ran until 1964, became an iconic part of American television history, and Milner's performance was central to its success. Following Route 66, Milner transitioned to another iconic role, this time as Officer Pete Malloy in the police procedural drama Adam-12. From 1968 to 1975, Milner starred in the show, which was created by Jack Webb, the mastermind behind Dragnet. Adam-12 was praised for its realistic portrayal of police work in Los Angeles and Milner's character, Pete Malloy, was a seasoned, no-nonsense officer who served as a mentor to his younger partner, Jim Reed, played by Kent McCord. The chemistry between Milner and McCord was a key factor in the show's success, and Adam-12 became one of the most popular cop shows of its time. Milner's portrayal of Malloy was so convincing that many viewers believed he was an actual police officer, a testament to his skill as an actor. Throughout his career, Milner was known for his professionalism and work ethic. He was a reliable leading man who brought authenticity and depth to every role he played. Despite his fame, Milner was described by colleagues as humble and down-to-earth, qualities that endeared him to fans and co-stars alike. His dedication to his craft was evident not only in the quality of his performances but also in his ability to sustain a successful career over several decades, a rare feat in the entertainment industry. Offscreen, Milner was a devoted family man. He married actress and singer Judith Bess Jones in 1957, and the couple had four children together. Despite the demands of his career, Milner remained committed to his family, often citing them as his greatest source of joy and support. His marriage to Judith lasted nearly 60 years, a testament to the strength of their bond and the stability he found in his personal life. Martin Milner, best known for his iconic roles in television series such as Route 66 and Adam-12, was a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. However, behind the scenes, Milner faced a personal tragedy that deeply affected him for the remainder of his life. In February 2003, Milner's eldest daughter, Amy, was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, a severe and aggressive form of cancer that impacts the blood and bone marrow. This devastating diagnosis marked the beginning of a painful and challenging journey for both Amy and her family. Amy had once shared the screen with her father, appearing in an episode of ADAM-12, a show that had solidified Milner's place in television history. The father-daughter duo had a close bond, and Milner cherished the memories of working alongside his daughter, who had inherited his love for the arts. 
The diagnosis came as a cruel blow to Milner, who had always been a protective and loving father. Watching his daughter suffer through the grueling treatments for leukemia was a heart-wrenching experience, one that no parent should ever have to endure. As Amy bravely fought her illness, enduring rounds of chemotherapy and other treatments, Milner was by her side, offering support and comfort. Despite the medical interventions, Amy's condition continued to deteriorate. The aggressive nature of acute myeloid leukemia meant that her battle was an uphill one, filled with uncertainty and fear. Milner, known for his stoic and composed demeanor on screen, found himself grappling with overwhelming emotions of helplessness and despair. In December 2004, after nearly two years of fighting, Amy succumbed to the disease. Her death left Milner and his family devastated. The loss of his daughter was an incomprehensible tragedy for Milner, one that would haunt him for the rest of his life. The pain of losing Amy was compounded by a deep sense of guilt that Milner could not shake. He tortured himself with thoughts of what could have been done differently, questioning whether there was something more he could have done to save her. For 11 years following Amy's death, Milner lived in a state of agony, burdened by this guilt. He replayed the events leading up to her diagnosis and death in his mind, searching for answers and relief from the torment he felt. The grief he experienced was all-consuming, and he struggled to find peace. Friends and family observed how this tragedy had profoundly changed Milner. The once vibrant and optimistic man had become more withdrawn, often lost in thought as he grappled with the unimaginable loss of his beloved daughter. Milner's agony was not just emotional but also physical. The stress and sorrow took a toll on his health, contributing to a decline in his overall well-being. He was no stranger to the fragility of life, having portrayed characters who faced danger and loss on television, but nothing could have prepared him for the real-life pain of losing a child. The guilt he felt was a manifestation of his deep love for Amy, a love that made it impossible for him to accept her death without questioning his role as her father. Despite his struggles, Milner continued to carry on with life, though the shadow of his daughter's death loomed large over everything he did. He tried to find solace in his memories of Amy, holding on to the times they spent together, both on and off the screen. However, the sense of loss was a constant companion, a reminder of the fragility of life and the uncontrollable nature of fate. In the end, Martin Milner's grief and guilt over Amy's tragic end became an integral part of his life story, shaping the final years of his life in a way that those close to him could see and feel. His experience serves as a poignant reminder of the deep and enduring impact that such a profound loss can have on a parent, leaving scars that may never fully heal. In addition to his acting career, Milner was also an avid fisherman and sailor. He enjoyed spending time on the water, particularly after retiring from acting in the late 1990s. He was also active in various charitable organizations, often lending his celebrity status to support causes he believed in including those benefiting veterans and law enforcement officers. Milner's legacy extends beyond his impressive body of work. He was part of a generation of actors who helped define the golden age of television, and his contributions to the medium have left an enduring impact. His roles in Route 66 and Adam 12 are still celebrated today, with reruns of the shows continuing to introduce new generations to his work. Fans remember him not only for his on-screen performances but also for the genuine, relatable characters he brought to life, characters that resonated with people from all walks of life. Martin Milner passed away on September 6, 2015, at the age of 83, after battling heart disease. His death marked the end of an era, but his legacy lives on through the countless hours of entertainment he provided to audiences over the years. Tributes poured in from fans, colleagues, and the entertainment industry, all of whom recognized the significant impact Milner had on television. Kent McCord, his co-star on Adam 12, described Milner as a wonderful, professional, ethical man, capturing the essence of who Martin Milner was both on and off the screen. In tribute to Martin Milner, it is essential to recognize the broader cultural significance of his work. Through his portrayals of everyday heroes, whether a young man navigating the complexities of post-war America on Route 66 or a dedicated police officer patrolling the streets of Los Angeles on Adam 12, Milner embodied the values of integrity, 
perseverance, and compassion. His characters were often seen as moral compasses, guiding viewers through the social and ethical challenges of their time. Milner's ability to connect with audiences on such a profound level is a testament to his talent and his understanding of the human condition.